We carried out a survey in 2002 where we asked nurses what they did with patients with dysphagia and a lot of them told us they crushed medicines. Uh, and I wanted to sort of follow this up a few years later to see whether this was happening in practice. So a research student of mine, Jenny Kelly, who's a nurse herself, went to watch what's going on on the wards in four of our hospitals locally uh, to see whether tablets were still being crushed and what was going on for patients who had got swallowing problems. Uh, and, and, and so she watched there over 2,000 drug administrations over a period of time, going back to the hospitals uh, to find out whether there was any problems at all. The, the main finding is patients who have got swallowing difficulties are three times more likely to have an error when giving their medicines. Most of the errors are to do with time. The doctors prescribe it to be even at 8 o'clock and they get it 9.30, 10 o'clock, so more than an hour either side of when they should have received it. And actually in many cases that's not a problem. But for some patients who need their medicines at 8 o'clock in the morning, like those with Parkinson's, it can be a real problem because obviously they can't get up and moving about until they've had their dose of their dopamine. I shall never forget it. I sat on the bed and put my arms around her because she was groaning and she was a very proud woman. She wouldn't do that. She was very brave. But she said, oh, Eileen, and as she did, her eyes seemed to go black all round her eyes. It was a terrible pain that she got then and she clung on to me like mad and I sort of held her um, and it was very upsetting, very, very upsetting. And Nick came back and as soon as they got the morphine patches onto her, she seemed to relax because she just fell back on the bed, I helped her lay down. And once she got the morphine patches, it was okay. But again, it was just people being too busy to do what should be done. The other things we found was that patients were having medicines dispersed when actually there was other formulations that were available for them. Given patches, suppositories, liquid medicines might be better. But I suppose I'm, I'm, I'm more concerned about the fact that these tablets are being tampered with when they don't need to be tampered with. Uh, and, and things like tablets have been put together in one pot and all mushed together, water added to them, and then the person has to then swallow that, that, that group of medicines when actually we could be doing things slightly better in a different way. What I'd say to relatives, if someone's going into hospital, is let the staff know how you give those medicines when they're at home, so that they're given exactly the same way when they're in hospital. And if they have concerns about them getting their medicines late, let the nurses know that so they can prioritise those patients whilst they're on the ward.